Welcome back to Just Scribble for an unboxing of my Derby from Chic Sparrow. So Derby is one of Chic Sparrow's newest limited edition leathers and it is said to be a cross between Outlander and Enchanted Woods and those two leathers are probably my top favorite leathers from Chic Sparrow. It's kind of hard to pick because I have a lot of favorite leathers from Chic Sparrow but those two are definitely at the top particularly Outlander Claire and Enchanted Woods Evanwood. And based on photos, this particular leather is a nice combination of both of those colors. So it's kind of like my two favorite colors in my two favorite leathers combined into one. Or at least that's what I'm hoping based on the pictures that I saw. So this is a limited edition leather. It did come out on February 8th. I actually ordered this on the day that it launched and then it got delayed in transport due to winter weather. And I finally got it and I'm able to unbox it. So I wanted to do a quick unboxing with you guys and share it with you. It is nighttime, so I'm hoping that the colors will pick up nicely on the video, but it will definitely be sharing pictures on Instagram. And I may do a secondary video this weekend with another unboxing that I have for a package coming from Chic Sparrow and do a comparison with that as well but I wanted to unbox this with you guys because one, I wanna see my derby, and two, I wanted to share it with you guys in case you were looking to order and you wanted to see it a little bit more up close and personal. I'm gonna get my envelope out. Same old thing as always, the little card that talks about full grain leather and its natural imperfections. My sticker of Jennifer and Chic Sparrow and then my packing slip that has my order notes. Now I did not put any order notes in this particular order. I decided to leave it up to the leather gods and let them pick something that was perfect for me. So now we're gonna open my derby. This derby is a B6 size. That is my everyday carry size. So it is the size that I buy most often other than Passport. And now that Chic Sparrow isn't really carrying Passport, only Passport Plus, this is a size that I will be buying most often when I'm buying, although I am trying to buy less and less and I am trying to de-stash some that I need to de-stash. But it is B6 size. And I did opt to get it in the new number seven design. I recently unboxed the number seven in two sizes, B6 in a waypoint and A5 in a dormouse. And I really love the design. And I decided that if I was gonna have something that was my two favorite leathers combined, it needed to be in this design because it allows me to hold my Wonderland 222 or my Stylogy notebooks perfectly. Oh my gosh. Oh my lord, this is so pretty. Wow. Let's take this out so we can check it out real quick. So here is my new Derby notebook. It has a beautiful mole right there. It has some color variations and some wrinkles that look like they will pop out once it's smushed and loved a little bit. It feels a lot like Outlander to the touch, just a little less shiny and a little less slick. It is soft here on the inside and there is color variation on the interior as well. It has the removable pen loop. So I'm gonna put a card up above showing the unboxing of my Waypoint and my Dormouse because in that video, I did show you guys how my Wonderland 222 fits into the notebook and I'm not gonna do this on this video in this particular notebook. I will probably do it in a future video or on Instagram, I'll share the fit, but this is my Waypoint in the same design and so I will put the card so you guys can look at this unboxing where I did show you how the notebooks fit. But I did off camera put my B6 Stalogy half year, which is the same size as a full year B6 Stalogy. It's just half as thick. And it's just my preferred size in Stalogy notebooks to use the half year because they do get to be quite chunky and it's just easier to use in the half year as they get thicker and thicker. But I did put my half year Stalogy in here and it fits perfectly. So you guys can see that the Stalogy did fit nicely in this notebook. And then I showed in that video how the Wonderland 222 notebook fit as well. So I wanted to show you guys that in case you wanted to check that out. And then I just wanted to do a quick little comparison to show you this compared to Outlander and Evanwood. So this is an Outlander Claire in the B6. This is their retired deluxe style. 
and I absolutely love this notebook. It is super beautifully squared off. I love holding it. Sometimes I just hold it just for fun because I adore this notebook. And you can see that the color of the Derby is similar, but a little bit more brown. It has less reddish tones to it. This is also an Outlander Claire. It, this one has a little bit more of a red tone than my B6 does but I thought I would show you that for color comparison and I will definitely take some pictures this weekend in sunlight and post them on Instagram and try to post them on the community tab so you guys can check them out as well. And this is my passport, Evanwood, which I absolutely adore. It is a plum brown color and this is sort of, Outlander Claire is sort of a reddish brown color. It has copper pull up. And then this is sort of an in-between. It's a very nice chocolate brown. I really like this leather. Oh, it smells like you walked into a boot store. I am so excited. I love this. I may have to get a folio in this leather as well before it goes away since it is limited edition. But that is my unboxing. I just wanted to open it with you guys and share it with you guys. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this leather or if you have any particular color comparisons you would like me to show. I can do them in photos and if there's enough things that you guys want to see in comparison I will do a separate video showing color comparisons of this leather to some other leathers if you'd like. Just let me know in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this quick unboxing of my new derby from Chic Sparrow. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos and don't forget to just scribble.